Number 34. A large household air conditioner may consume 15 kilowatts of power. What is the cost of operating this air conditioner three hours per day for 30 days if the cost of electricity is 11 cents per kilowatt hour? All right, so this approach is basically very similar to the approach we just took in number 33. So the whole goal, start with the goal. We want to find how much it costs. Now remember, to find out how much it costs, we have to have the value in dollars. All right, so that means that Every other unit that you see here, hours and days and kilowatts and hours and these kilowatts, they all got to cancel somehow. All right. So let's first. Um, so let me just erase everything here. So let's first take this cost function and convert it into a fraction, just like we did in 33. All right. Number 33, that is. So here we have 11 cents per kilowatt hour okay so this is going to be one of my conversion values all right let's just leave that alone next uh, we have i noticed that in my cost function i have my power in terms of kilowatts and the air conditioner they also gave me the power consumption in kilowatts as well so i don't have to do any conversion there all right so that's going to be another value let me write down that value uh, over here so we got 15.0 kilowatts okay let me just bring, if I can here, let me just bring this value down here just so we have it. All right. And let's take a look at the last thing. So now it says we're operating this air conditioner for three hours every day for 30 days. Okay. Now notice what is the time unit in the cost function? Well, the time unit in the cost function is in hours. So the time in which I'm operating it should also be the total amount of hours that I'm operating in it, right? Now, rem now think about, well, what's the total amount of hours? Well, if you're operating it for three hours per day and you're going to operate it for 30 days, right? how many total hours would that be? It would simply be 90, right? 90 hours. So we're basically taking uh, three, right? Three hours and multiplying it by 30, okay? And that's going to give us the total amount of hours. So this gives us 90 hours. Okay, now remember, here's the goal. So I got all the values I need. Now what I need to do is manipulate these three values such that when I multiply them together, it only gives me the value of dollars. Okay, that's the whole goal of dimensional analysis. So let me first start with this fraction. Uh, reason being is because I know I'm finding the cost of it and therefore I have to have dollars in the numerator, okay? So if I plug this in first, so we got 11 cents per kilowatt hour. The next step now is I'm gonna multiply by one of the other two values and I'm gonna choose this one first. Why? Just because I felt like it, no particular reason. But I do notice that I need to cancel the kilowatts in the cost function and they're in the they they are in the denominator and therefore i need to put my uh, power usage in the numerator here all right because that will allow me to cancel those units so you can place that value over one if you like that's fine and then what do you think the last step will be well you're looking at this thing and you're saying well i got out i got kilowatts canceled i just need dollars and i'm left with hours here but i got to get rid of the hours so oh right I got to plug in my hour value here in the numerator so that they cancel. And when you do the math now, guess what? It's a beautiful thing, right? You're just left with dollars. So 0.11 times 15 times 90. So it cost you $148.50. All right. And we'll just, I'm not even worried about sig figs because, uh, I wish I could tell that to the electric company. Well, actually, you know, you gave me this rate and sick figs. I, you know, I don't think I can pay you the extra 50 cents. Yeah, you can say goodbye to your power then. All right, so uh, that would be the answer. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you so much.